Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back. As you can see, we are not playing FIFA. This is Valheim or Valheim, however you want to pronounce the name of the game. Uh, and we are going to be doing a solo survival where we're going to try and take out all the bosses by ourselves whilst we learn the game as well. Something totally different, of course, from uh, FIFA 21 or any FIFA content that I normally do. And we do play a lot of these kind of games when I'm not actually streaming or recording, so hopefully uh, this goes fairly well. So let's try and get our first little base started. We do need to get some wood, of course. And what have we got so far? A little bit of wood, a little bit of stone. We need to craft a hammer, so there we go. We've got a hammer, and now we can craft a few more things and start building. That's what we need to be doing. So we need to find as well... Um, somewhere to build our house, our little base, that's where we're going to be sleeping and cooking our food. And there is our little friendly crow, let's punch him in the face. We need to get ourselves a stone axe, so we're just trying to get some basics. Um, we need wood and stone. Obviously we'll be able to cut down some trees as well once we've got the stone axe. So very, very grindy at the start. I do have another character. Um, but of course, we're starting from fresh here on this series. Um, we do need to get some of these raspberries. Obviously, you need to be eating as much as possible. So raspberries are a good source of food. You know, I think you can later um, feed them to the, the wild hogs so you can breed them. But it's something I haven't done yet, even on my main character. Um, so I think that's what you do. We've got some mushrooms as well, if you can see in my inventory in the top left. And we just need a few more stones, I think. And then we can make ourselves a stone axe. We've got a club. Um, because of course, you do need the weapon. Oh, no, we haven't got a club. We can craft a club. So once we've got this stone axe, we can go and get some more wood. Some more mushrooms there hiding away behind the rune stones. Uh, those rune stones is actually where we need to place the items from the bosses once we've killed them. Um... So yeah, and then we get um, strength rewards, I think, or cutting wood uh, rewards, things like that. And so let's cut some wood. As I said, at the start of this game, is always going to be a little bit grindy because we need to obviously cut down trees to get wood, build a base, and get some stone. We don't have a pickaxe yet to get the stone. And we'll make sure we're eating here. We've only got raspberries and strawberries. Uh, not strawberries, raspberries and mushrooms. And we need to find a place for our base. I'm thinking over here, right beside the water, would be nice. And there's quite a few little islands out here as well. We've got some stones. So pick up that. I think you find flint as well along the coast. Flint is always good. There are a few items which you can craft with flint. Uh, shall we do it right here on this mound or down here? What are these? What are these little neck lizard things which we can kill and cook? We do actually need some more um, food. There's one, two, three over there. I think there's some deer in the in the uh, distance down there as well. But let's get our little base started. We need to have a workbench. Have a workbench, and then of course your crafting does expand. As you can see, all the things popping up on the screen right now. New building items which we can create, and that means we can now build our own little house. This is the first thing which you want to gonna start to um, do as soon as possible get your um, workbench up and run it does need a little roof as well so this is the the basic little building structure which I go with just this right here get this and then you sorted to go on and build your house uh, every house of course needs a floor now we're a little bit uneven right now, so we do need to craft a hoe soon. Once the hoe is crafted, then we can level out all the ground and it gets rid of all the long grass too. So let's get the hoe crafted. There we go. The hoe is crafted and Hugin, or whatever his name is, is back with us. And we just picked up the flint as well there. I don't know if you saw that, which means we can upgrade our workbench once we've got the chopping thing sorted. There you go. Just leveling that, leveling out the ground with our new acquired hoe. You can see it gets rid of all the, all the grass, and we are progressing then with our building. Now we do need a fireplace, 
Obviously, you need a fireplace to cook. And we'll put that there. Is that going to be okay? Or is it going to break? Yeah, it's going to break. When you're building, you do need to make sure that you've got support as well. I do like the, the mechanics in this game for the building. Uh, we'll get rid of the floor because the stone fire is going to go down there. As I said, I have played this game a few times. I have a main character on a different server. Um, so I do know the, the very basics of building. And of course, we need a little chimney going as well in our house. If you don't have a chimney, if you just put a campfire within your house, you will die. Because of course, the smoke will poison you. And you don't want that to happen, boys. You don't want that to happen. There we go. We've got a little stand over the fire so we can shove our meat on there. Uh, can we get this on the bottom of there? Just so there's no gap between the floor and the wall. Or There we go. We are progressing nicely. Almost finished our little house. We've got some meat cooking now too. So that's a little bit of extra food our way. We've just been out to get some more wood. And now we just need to finish off the very, very basics of our house. Once, obviously, this is completed, we will be expanding it. Um, especially as more things are able to uh, be crafted. Uh, our food is done. Let's get rid of that. We don't want to overcook our food if you do overcook your food guys it will turn to coal and you don't want that to happen and uh, not just yet anyway you can actually do it on purpose if you need to create some coal obviously it will be another item which will unlock i think the signs uh, we don't need signs just yet maybe in the next episode we'll get some signs up once we get some wooden containers going uh, but there you can see we have grilled some neck tail so that is obviously some more food for us we've got raspberries We've got deer meat or whatever it is, and mushrooms and raspberries, and then obviously the necktail as well. Uh, what's he want now? What do you want? Be wary of the weather. Thanks, mate. Thank you very much. Um, we do need to finish off our chimney because obviously if the rain does start to fall, it will actually put out the campfire as well. So that's something which we need to sort out. We will finish off. Um, our house in today's episode so let's try and get everything that we need of course a lot of wood is needed at the start uh, we're going to put a container down we do need a bed down as well of course if you make a bed it will be your spawn point and then obviously if you die you will spawn back in your bed there we go we've got ourselves a bed and the crow is back we can actually make the chopping block now as well Shall we do that now or shall we just finish off our house? We need to get a roof on this place ASAP. And the crow is just there waiting for me right now. But he can wait a second. Just try and get as much as the walls finished as we can. Obviously, very, very open to how you build your starter house. Now you can improve on it as time goes on. If you are playing this game, let me know. If you are enjoying it, of course, let me know how far you've gone. How many bosses you've done so far as well. I think there was an update a couple of days ago as well. Because they changed something to the bosses. To make it a little bit difficult. Uh, a little bit uh, more harder at least. Than they currently were. Um, on my main character. We have beaten the Ether. And um, who's the next one? The Elder isn't it? The big tree thing. So yeah I've beaten those two. Still got a, lot way, a long way to go of course. We do have the trader as well on my main uh, but it's going to be a long way before we get to those kind of levels with this character um, I do play it with friends as well the other one so doing this one solo obviously building and traveling and trying to find everything it's going to take me a little bit longer and I'm expecting a few more deaths too uh, it's not the end of the world if you do die of course you will be spawning back in your bed in your home and then, of course, you just have to go back to where you died to pick up your items. Um, so let's just finish off this house. We need to get a roof on here. We have the chimney almost sorted. Uh, I don't think there's any smoke coming in anyway. It is going up, but we will finish the top of it outside. Uh, but as I said, let's just get this roof on. You can see the huge tree in the sky there. Um, put that there. Oh, actually... It's the wrong one, isn't it? I need the other the other roof. There we go. The 45 degree one. That matches up to the top all the way across. And then we can put some things on the end of the walls there. And then 
it will be complete. Here we go, just shove these on the end. Fills a little bit of a gap. We can fill one more as well above it. And then we could put the bigger one on this side. But let's get this up first. Hopefully we've got enough, enough wood for these two. To switch it around. I'm using a keyboard and mouse. You, I think you can use a controller for this game. But of course, yeah, I think it's much easier with the keyboard and mouse. I think we need a window in here. Shall we put a window right here next to this door? So we need to knock that down. And there we go. Oh, we've got a bad guy outside. We've got a, we've got a visitor. We do have a club now, so let's go and club him to death. Get out of here, you. Just a little grayling. Not too difficult to take down. Obviously, if you don't have a club, um, there will be a little bit harder. But, of course, we go into day two. We've got a house. We've got the basics of our house done. And uh, we could do with just finishing it off underneath. Let's get all this um, wooded off so there's no gap between the ground and the base of the house. Just to make it look a little bit better then of course we can get the chopping block sorted as well that will upgrade the workbench for ourselves and i believe what do we need we need 10 flint for that we've got everything else just need to get our hands on 10 flint which we might have uh, but yeah once we do upgrade the workbench it will open up more things for us to craft well there is the basics of our house very very basic doesn't look great but obviously as i said as time goes on we will be um, improving it and hopefully making it a little bit bigger. We have a little bit of wood here, so maybe we can finish off the um, chimney. Right, what I want to do is get shelves on here. We don't have enough wood for another chest, but I am going to shove another chest on top of that little shelf I've made just to save a little bit of room instead of putting it on the floor. Um, do we have... Oh, there's my chimney. Look, all nice and finished. Smoke going out the side as well, so we'll not get poisoned from the smoke. Oh, wow, it is very, very foggy out here right now. Look at all these deer. One with antlers there as well. I think if you kill the one with antlers, you do get a deer trophy. Uh, well, let's go ahead and get some more wood. Hopefully, we don't get attacked. Are the deer okay over there? Oh, timber! you got to watch out as well. I thought I was going to get killed there. you got to watch out for when you do uh, knock down trees. If they obviously do land on you, they will kill you. So just be wary of that. It's happened a few times on my main. So far, we haven't died yet on here. Uh, running out of food as well. We have 15 raspberries. We've got two, uh, yeah, two neck tails um, cooked. And let's just get this wood. That one's going to roll right into that little creek there. Very, very grindy, isn't it? At the start. Obviously takes a little bit more time as well when you're on your own. But you can play with friends. So if you don't like playing alone, um, obviously invite your friends. You can make it a private server if you want to put a password on it as well. So you don't get any randoms jumping in, which is what I've done here. Um, but it's just... There we go. I think we've got a nice base now. We just need to get that chopping block sorted. I need to fix my stone axe too. I've not done that yet. You can fix your items at the workbench as well, of course. So you don't have to throw them away. You don't have to make new ones. Um, flint, we actually need to keep that. And let's just sort everything out. We've got stone there. Need to get some more stone. But let's cook and work there. There you go. We're just fixing all of our tools. We need some more food soon too, but we are coming towards the end of today's episode. As I said, it's just the basic, just getting started um, with this character. And then, of course, the more we can um, progress, the more things that we can craft, the further we can go on our little adventure and hopefully um, do a little bit of um, exploring soon. There you go. There's the other container up. And so it just saves a little bit of room being up on a shelf rather than being on the floor. We can make a stack of wood. Shall we make a stack of wood? What else do we need? We still need that chopping block. Look at the stack of wood. Just shove it in here. No, we're not going to do that. Maybe outside? Or shall we just keep the wood? Let's just see what it looks like outside. Get out, boy. Could put a stack of wood outside here beside the house. Even just for... Um, Design sake, can put it right there. Look, 
um, but we probably need the wood so I'm not gonna put that wood down anywhere uh, let's get the flint and it's the chopping block isn't it let's go I'm gonna put that outside around the back uh, it belongs outside anyway so maybe in this corner right here you can see the little glare there the little um, glow going towards the workbench that just shows you that it is in range of the workbench and now we do as you can see have a level 2 workstation which is fantastic which means we can craft a few more items I think flint head arrows and fire arrows were among those and uh, we do need a crude bow but we need to get ourselves some leather scraps leather scraps you get from killing the wild hogs and uh, we could get ourselves a wood shield so still a few items we've only got three leather scraps right now um, flint knife do I want a flint knife I don't really want a flint knife I didn't use one on my main character much last time uh, but we still need leather scraps so we could go out and go kill some wild hog uh, just keep all that stuff in there you can see right now we do have plenty of space in our inventory but of course as we do go on we will need a lot more inventory space uh, so let's go and kill some piggies and these crazy guys there you go easy to kill now with the club we're on the search for some animals what's this oh there's a chest up here oh, we've got some gold coins and a torch i'm not going to take the torch uh, they usually have mushrooms there we go we have some mushrooms inside as well so always check these guys if you come across them uh, because they do have mushrooms inside not all the time but if you can get them then that is fantastic this helps of course with a little bit of food uh, there is a piggy we're trying to get enough to uh, make ourselves um, shields um, upgrades as well let's see what we've got exactly we've got some food as well of course killing those wild hogs all right we've got 10 quite a few pieces of raw meat let's get the wood and let's craft ourselves a crude bow there's quite a few items there that we could craft and we need some arrows now we can go hunting for deer properly i think you can hunt without a bow to get the deer but i think it's a little bit easier when you do have a bow and arrow to go and get the uh the pigs and the deer and then obviously it keeps a little bit of distance between yourself and any enemies We've only got basic wooden arrows right now, but there are other arrows which we can craft. Flint arrows. Well, let's try and see if we can get this guy. Hey, there we go. Skill improved. Now, that's another thing in this game. The more you do something, even with running and jumping, um, all your skills do improve as the more you um, go on. And are we going to kill anything else with our bow? Let's pick up this over here. Added another neck tail. That's more food for ourselves. We've got quite a bit of food now with all those wild hogs we got. Here's Robin Hood. Oh, I just missed him. A little bit lower. There is a big drop on the arrows. Oh my god, I'm terrible. Oh, that one just missed. Unlucky. So, as you can tell, I've got a little bit of work to do if I'm going to be... Oh, what's going off up there? I've just seen something. Ooh, I got him. Let's just go into these trees, see what was happening up here. I don't know if... Was it a skeleton? Oh, one of the deer has been killed. There's been a murder, boys. There has been a murder. We've got that um, deer trophy as well. We've got some deer hide. And as you can see, we have unlocked quite a few leather items. So I think in the next episode, we can go out and try and craft ourselves some leather armor. As you can see, a skeleton. Usually with the skeletons out, um, there's a cave around. So that could be good for us. Well, there you go. He is dead. Uh, so we are coming towards the end of today's episode, guys. Here is the cave. Uh, and there is the bird, the crow's coming over. So we will go into that. Not in today's episode. We'll, we'll probably check it out in tomorrow. Oh, not tomorrow. It's the next episode. I'm not sure how often this series will be uploaded yet, guys. I will try and get it up as often as possible. Won't be a daily one because, I've still, of course, we still have the FIFA content. Well, there you go, guys. That is the end of today's episode. Just the basics. Getting started on Val Valheim. I hope you enjoyed it. And let's just cook some food. Jump into our bed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.